Okay, finding an angle. And what we're going to do here is use the cos rule. Now, one of the main reasons, even if you weren't sure, to use the cos rule is because it has one angle. If you have one angle, it's cos. If you have two angles, it's sine. C comes before S in the alphabet, and 1 comes before 2. Also, with the sine rule, if you do it twice, it's a sin. So that's another way to remember. So one angle for cos and two angles for sine. Okay, so the sine rule to find an angle is sine of BA. Oh, sorry, it's not sine rule, it's cos rule. The cos rule to find an angle, I'm just saying the sine down here. So it is actually the cos rule, one angle. So the cos rule to find an angle is cos C. And this is the one that is on the formula sheet. Cos C is A squared plus B squared minus C squared. And it's all over 2AB. So the next step is just to label each side. Now, if you happen to have big letters there, you just ignore them because you're going to use our letters to label stuff. So what you want to find, that's the angle, that's the big C. Okay, opposite equals little c. The other sides are A and B. So that means that this is the big C, opposites little c. The other sides are A and B. And all that's left is to put it back into your formula. So you've got cos of C, and cos of C means that that is just the angle. So cos of C would be cos of the theta. Now the formula now says a squared plus b squared. So that means we're going to do 22 squared plus 24. 22 squared plus 24. Minus squared. Minus c squared. So what have they got for c squared here? Uh, 23. They've got 23, so you've got to minus the 23 squared all over 2 times AB, so 2 times 22 times 24. Okay, so putting everything into the calculator, you go get the fraction button and then go 22 squared plus 24 squared minus 23 squared all over 2 times 22 times 23. And you end up with cos theta. You end up with cos theta equals 0 0.5247, dot, 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 dot. So to get theta, you go cos the minus 1 of what that answer is. So you go shift cos equals. So we end up with 58 degrees. 35.35. Now, if I press the degrees midden button, remember this one, it'll change it to degrees and minutes. So you get 58 degrees and 21 minutes as your angle. Now, you don't have to do the acute or obtuse thing because the same thing does not work for cos. It's only sine that has the ambiguous case. If you put in cos 60, you notice get a half. But if you put in cos 120, like the obtuse angle, you'd actually get a minus a half. So therefore, these two things are not equal. Sine 60 equals sine 120, but cos 60 does not equal cos 120. So you only need to get one answer here, not like the other one.